Hey everyone and welcome back to another reptile guide. This time it's going to be on Nimble. Nimble is the variation where a lot of people like to call it the flash trait, but basically you slow down time and you speed up your recovery on moves, but multiply the opponent's startup frames and recovery frames. So they move a lot slower while you move slightly faster. Uh, it does take a really long time to start up the Basilisk mode. It may say one startup frame, but you really can't move until around 70 frames. And if you burn meter on it, it takes you around 30 something frames to be able to move. So it makes it a little bit difficult to set up, but you can combo into it. And I'll get into that in just a minute. Another thing you need to know is the pressure and nimble. Whenever you do normal pressure, you do around 5% for a block string. But if you have the Basilisk mode activated, you don't hardly do any chip. So it's more in your favor to go for mix-ups. Now, you can combo off of forward 4 one, two, and you can choose many different combos. You could slide multiple times in order to build a lot of meter. You can build about half a bar. But really, it depends on how far you are from the corner because if you want to milk the damage, you really need to decide when you're gonna get the force ball out to get the, the uppercut and the combo that is gonna do the most damage. You can do forward four slides. Uh, you can really just do whatever you want. But you are able to combo out of whatever brings you into a neutral jump punch, like back one down four, uh, one two, things like that. Also in the corner, you can get around 50% off of a four four one two, and that only costs you one bar, so that's pretty decent as well. Now I want to get into setups for meterless basilisk mode because they are very risky and they're going to be very matchup dependent. So you may throw the opponent across the screen with an acid spit and activate slow motion meterless, but if you're fighting a teleporter, uh, that's not going to work. You will still get hit by their wake ups. Or if somebody uses a projectile that's going to hit you quickly from full screen, it's not going to work. There's several different knockdowns that you can do, all of which will be punished by pretty much every character in the game. There's one for, you know, I've, I've gone through and tried many different options and really there's so many ways that the opponent can easily react and then just punish you with a wake up attack. So be really careful when you're deciding to do a setup like this. I don't recommend it for someone that obviously knows the matchup or maybe in any kind of high level play. I really don't recommend that type of setup. The best thing you got going for you is the claw because the ending with the claw at a distance, you probably can get a combo out and you can get somebody to maybe wake up and you can bait it. But just beware, it doesn't work on everybody. There are so many characters in the game that can easily punish this as well. It doesn't matter the distance. If you did it even closer, I guarantee you 100% of the cast can punish you. So the setups in Nimble are going to be very hard to do meterless. But on to some good news. You can combo off Slippery Slide in Nimble, but again, in order to get this set up, it's very situational. You probably would have to use multiple bars of meter, but hey, I guess it could happen. I do want to talk about using meter after the claw to activate Basilisk mode because although it may be matchup dependent, you can come up with ways to easily avoid all of the opponent's wake up options. For Sub-Zero example, I slightly step forward, step back, and jump up and back, and that will avoid everything that he can do. Uh, namely the slide which you could bait out and easily punish so it's up to you to figure out that uh, it's very matchup based now another thing that's really cool is when you activate slow motion you can easily get out back three four to break wake ups but what you're seeing here is me dropping the combo early with one four into the force ball cancel and then going for a mix up to allow two hits to happen at the same time and break armor in case they do wake up it's a hard knockdown, so there's nowhere they can go, and it's a pretty great option. But on to pressure. The concept for Nimble Pressure is that you are allowed a down three after anything that you do because of how quickly you recover and how slow their startup is. So whatever you do, if you do back three, four, down three afterwards. Now, of course, they can armor out of it, but if they try to mash a poke like I'm doing here, they will get hit because the startup is too great. 
Now you may say, well, Ophi, they're always doing delay wake up, so what do I do? Well, a great option for that is dashing over to the other side, ducking for just a second, and then jumping over and going for your jump in with the mix up, whether it's back two, back three, four, make something happen out of that. And what's great about it is even if they try to wake up, you may get them to mess it up, and then you can just run up and punish in your own way, which is whatever punish you like to do. The main idea is you need to remember, as Nimble Reptile, get the opponent to the corner. That's where you're going to do the most damage. That's where you have some pretty good setups from, for example, this is a hard knockdown setup where if you go low and they wake up, it'll break the wake up. If they don't wake up at all, they might get mixed up by low or overhead, and you can still score up to around 50%. The only uh, downside to this is if they do delay, so if they delay, you know, you may have to wait it out and then do something else and you'll have less time in the uh, Basilisk mode to convert for that much damage, but still you can get good damage. Anyway, that's my Nimble guide. Um, I'd like to shout out Combo Cody, uh, Costner, the whole Reptile community, everybody who is pushing nimble. I, I feel like it's a pretty good variation. I still feel like Deceptive's the best and uh, that's what's next. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll catch you next time.